had a chance to talk about it. Everybody knows the route that they're supposed to run. You could bet this is going to be a pass. He's going to go over to Vandal Becker, who's going to right score. to the center. If he just puts the wheels on it, we got a touchdown right there. Nobody expected that one. Everybody's looking for the out routes, and there was Becker moving right down between the hash marks. To nobody within five yards of him. It was just a beautiful pass, catch, and a score for the Sages. I have Becker. That's his first catch, believe it or not. What a one to catch right now with fourth and six. Turns into six on the board. 34-yard touchdown pass to Becker. Nice job by the senior from the junior. All righty. This would make it interesting. We get these two points. Welter looks to run. He cuts back underneath, and Baker with nice. the shovel. It's nice job right there. They just have no, uh, they, uh, they have no idea what we're going to do. There's so many <laughs> options that we're running out of that. I don't think that they've been well prepared there at all. Well, and those were new. I was looking at uh, the coaching uh, guidelines for this week, and uh, they said trickeration for extra points. And <laughs> Well, trickeration it is. It's uh, we're getting closer and closer, maybe to Halloween early. <laughs> Their trickeration is our treat. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, this has turned out to be a very exciting game, Doug. As uh, each team has had a lot of fun in the end zone, and uh, boy, the big difference, Doug, has been those two turnovers. And I'd like to think we we clamped down on that. We're not in bad shape. Now that we can definitely play with this team. Um, if we had just eliminate a few of those mistakes, as you say there. And how about if we were to pick up a, a, a nice turnover here, have them make the mistake, go into halftime with a, with a lead. Mm -hmm. A lot of time left, 4.53. A lot of time for both sides. A lot of time for Union to march down and score. And a lot of time for us to stop and get it back and do the same. Ball's right, guys, get after it. He's catching it on the run. He's able to... Looks oh, like shoot. a lane up the middle. Don't let him get to the outside, boys. Somebody's got to put some a tackle oh, on fellas. him. Oh, that just hurts. You get yourself back in the ball game and way to hustle, way to get down there, man. Well, you know, we always say kickoffs. Kickoffs from punts, special teams. Special teams. That's where danger lurks. And it, wow. Right. Well, we give up a big kickoff return after coming within three points. Not that we have a field goal kicker, but it does make it interesting. And uh, well, I guess the good side of it, though, I mean, I, I'm going to keep them. looking for good side. You stop. We stopped them from they, scoring. Yeah, we were going to get the ball back with us with a good four and a half minutes on the clock. <laughs> One way or the other, huh? <laughs> so it just means we're going to have to match them. Yeah. Well, and the way we've been doing extra points, we'll creep up and, and be only two points behind. Maybe, maybe one if we can block another one. All right, uh, setting the ball at about the 10-yard line, Doug, can you tell? How about the nine? We'll go with the nine. Because they didn't bring out the change yet, but I could be wrong. Well, I see the I'm, one I'm down there. I'm not sure that they know yet, really. And uh, Welter was having a word with one of the officials about something. Uh, can't tell you what. All I know is he was heated. Mm-hmm. He did ask for a better effort from his team, and I believe he's gotten that, Doug, uh, compared to last week. They're playing much more spirited, uh, much more intense, and against uh, what I believe a better team than, than Clifton Central. Well, it certainly uh, looks that way. They, they definitely have some size over there. They, they have a deep lineup if you look at their side mm -hmm. of the field compared to what we have over here. Well, they brought everybody in. A, you know, <laughs> well, they brought a ton. They got about twice the number of guys we got on the sidelines. They brought a ton. Well, I think that's just the one guy I see over there. <laughs> they do have but some they size. they brought the rest of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The ball's on the. Uh, nice job of shutting it down there. So they put the ball at the four-yard line after it's all said and done. And uh, first and goal then. Shut it, like you said, Doug. Shut him down at the line of scrimmage. Nice job, defensive line. Have to, to fight. I have to give that one to uh, Greg Wedwinski, who was mm -hmm. in there fighting hard. Hands off to the far side, and he'll be wrapped up. He'll be just, and he's in. All right. Uh, came up and made the tackle, but he spun out of it and leaped forward. Was able to reach out there maybe and get the, uh, get the, the touchdown. So here comes the extra point. St. Joe is up 30 to nothing with a minute 17 left in the first half. All 
All right, see if we can come in on that far side. You see four guys ready to make some noise, and, uh, and they're going to stop play. Something's going on there that they didn't like. Somebody uh, lined up over offsides, maybe. Delay of game, they call that? Hmm. Well, they, <laughs> they're worried about that far side getting uh, overrun. Well, backing them up doesn't do anything, really. No, that kid's got a that, strong that leg. Kid, you can put him on the 30, maybe, and still uh, be able to put it through. Legal substitution. That'll back her up a few yards. That looks more like a field goal. And it looks, looks like a good field goal. All right, so a 10-point lead then for Unity as uh, we got the ball with, we'll get the ball with about four minutes to go. So you just have plenty of time to march down the field and score. That was Sutton Winterbottom putting pressure on the kicker there. Almost got there again. Mm -hmm. I think he's the same guy that got it last time. Wouldn't be surprised. Good job coming off that edge and laying out there. And, you know, sometimes that can hurt when you lay out full like that and come down on your chest the way that, that way. We mentioned that last week, Doug, taking one for the team, and yeah, he certainly did on the previous kick. All righty. So the Sage is down by 10. Still with a lot of fight and a lot of time left. Uh, honestly, Doug, outside of a few mistakes, we've, we've outplayed him. Well, you know, you said it was earlier it was a track meet. Well, let's just see if it is a track meet right now on this kickoff. Let's get Flory's the ball. Uh, if Flory was able to pick it up cleanly and, mm -hmm. and pick out a lane, yeah, he just might be able to make this the hundred-yard dash. Well, when what you saw the last time he carried it, he does have the speed, but it took more than one guy to bring him down. So he's got a little, a lot of strength as well. Four eleven to go in the first half. This has been a long first half. It's after eight o'clock already, so we're past an hour of game uh, on the clock of, of running this game, and been a lot of passing, a lot of scoring. You've got sixty or fifty-eight points on the board. Uh, and that's going to take some time. All right, the ball is kicked high. Looks like it can be returned. Flory's got it on the run at the 14. He's got some blockers in front of him. Cuts to the outside, makes one move, and it'll be brought down at the 32-yard uh, line. Still so, a nice return. And very definitely nice. showed that he is able to read his blockers. Just mm -hmm. uh, one good juke, and he could have been gone. So with 4.05 to go, Sages have two timeouts left. If we can get some steady movement upfield, we'll be in good shape. Unity has done well just moving the ball in and of themselves. We made them punt one time. They've had uh, they've been the recipient of two turnovers, each of which were turned into scores, and both of which were deep in, in uh, their territory. Hand off to Burton, who cuts upfield, runs into a few guys, still driving. Give him a Throw the flag oh, good. right there. Good yeah. for a late hit. Coming in, leading with the head. You could hear that up here, Doug. That was hard metal to metal contact. A nice click. That has to be uh, on them. I would think it's a personal foul, yes. That should and be a 15-yard walk-off on that one. Low to the head. Okay. So a good five-yard carry by Burton. It has turned into a 20-yard pickup with the penalty. That'll set the ball inside Rocket Territory at their 46. <laughs> 22 yards all together. So he had a seven yard pickup on the carry. Freeman and Mosin underneath. You've got Welter on the near side along with Bundy. He's got plenty of room to look upfield. He's got Baker just overthrew him. And, and while he was covered, Doug, a little bit shorter pass would have been would have been caught. They're running with him, but they're not in a position to do anything about it, Doug. They're just going to let him catch it and then make the tackle, which is fine. Good speedy feet by uh, Becker gets himself open. And tell you what, Doug, if he, if he wanted to, he could have ran for the first down. It was a wide open middle of the field. Well, you know, he's definitely looking to look, throw the ball. Mm-hmm. He does have the touch. You have Becker streaking and, and open. Why not try to go after it? But you're right. I have to agree. He was open to run if he wanted it. All right. Freeman motion again. Looks to be. Oh, shoot. Come on, fellas. He's going to uncork it and picked off again. Doggone it. Just threw that one away is what he did right down the center of the field where there was a white jersey. 
trying to make something out of nothing. But uh, in that case, it would have been wiser to maybe uh, take a better look around before throwing that ball. I would have liked to see him just keep running out there because yeah. I thought that flat was open pretty good. Well, and he wasn't he wasn't being pursued too much. I think he felt he, you know his mental clock was clicking, thought he had to get rid of it. Uh, I really don't believe he did. He yeah. had time. He Try had some blocking. Trying they're, to make the big play. Right now in that situation, Doug, they're more worried about the pass than they are pass rushing, and, and he had time. All righty. So another turnover goes to uh, Unity. Finds themselves at their own 30-yard line, first and 10, with 3.40 to go here in the first half with a 10-point lead. So what they're seeing right now is just what we were looking at, a chance to score with uh, nice the job left on the clock. Good job by Strack getting into the backfield. Josh yep. Strack and uh, cleaned up by Sutton Winterbottom and Jamie Smith. Yeah, he, he did a nice job of knifing through and, and uh, tackle for loss. Trips on the far side. They've, they've done that play uh, formation a lot. They've run and passed out of it each time. Or either time. Looked like somebody jumped and moved there, but. Quarterback's keeping it up the middle. Nathan uh, Harmon had a chance at him there, but slowed him up, but allowed Becker to come in and make the play. Give him seven yards on a carry, puts it at the 35, third and about five, with uh, 2.45 to go here in his first half. Unity will get the ball to start the second half, Doug, as we received it and scored on the opening drive. Crowd getting into it, making some noise on the bleachers. Got to love those lemon, aluminum bleachers for that. Make some noise, guys. Let them know. Looking, gonna, to looking to throw deep. As that was, oh, I don't know. The referee should have seen some push-off right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was a definite two-handed push-off, not just one. Mm-hmm. So I'll give him first down at the 42, 2.21 to go in the contest. I don't know if you need to take a timeout or not, Doug. I can't remember. No, they have not. All right. I didn't think so. First and 10, ball sits at the say, or the uh, Rocket 42-yard line. Spread formation, three on the far side, and another man going out there as a decoy. Wrap them up, fellas. Nice job. All right. Good job, everybody, in pursuit there. So Uni kind of pushing and prodding here, Doug, uh, maybe biding their time and, and uh, seeing what they can get on the run. Strack is really slow getting up and holding on to the knee. May have tweaked it just a touch. Hopefully he can walk that one off and be fine, but I think they're going to have to take a look at him. So that will give us a minute here as they work on Strack. Defense get a little bit of a breather, chance to talk uh, talk about it. Caleb Hansen, in, or Hansen rather, Caleb Hansen in the ball game, number one for uh, Strack. Caleb, a uh, backup quarterback typically, but uh, also plays defense and has some speed and a little tenacity. We like that. Caleb's a sophomore. All righty. Give him two yards on a pickup, second and eight. Has the same formation. Look for him to throw to 15. He's a little wide open. He's got some room. He's got a lot of room. As uh, they get ball down to the 30-yard line, 151. Pretty big uh, spot here, Doug, to, for the defense to stop. And you're down by 10 points, two scores. Making it three scores is going to make it awful tough. It's uh, really a must stop. If You know, yeah. you, you just got to do this. You got to tighten it up enough to keep them out of the end zone before the halftime. Baker looking to, to rush. The uh, clock is continuing to run as the chains have been set. 13. Whoa, whoa. Bobbled the yeah. ball. The, the, yeah, Somebody the, tackle him anyway. You had number 17 walking around over here. Uh, that's so, going to go against needs Unity. To, yeah, the flag is down. That's gonna, that should go against Unity as, as two or three guys were moving around trying to get reset for the play. Uh, the, pl the play clock wasn't close to counting down. They were, they were just trying to figure out what play to run. So that'll push him back five yards. 139 to go here in the first half. Unity with a 10-point lead. Lake Clifton coming into the ball game, and Van Dalsen is going to take a seat. The ball the 
Spread formation on the near side. Quarterback fakes the handoff. No, nope, he does hand off, and uh, he'll get maybe three or four yards. So Unity wanting to run, and, and they've done very well running, Doug. Uh, yeah. Time time would think otherwise, but uh, we'll, we'll let them eat it up the clock. That's fine. It's exactly what I think they're trying to do is eat up the clock before scoring. They still want to get in the end zone, but they don't want to leave us a chance to come back. Underneath, he makes the reception. Tackle him, fellas. Come on. Come on, guys. You keep him in bounds. Nice tackle by uh, Bundy. Good driving it through there, Bundy. You betcha. Not close to a first down, so the clock will continue to roll. We're down to a minute. <laughs> he did have forward progress, uh, so that will push him out to the, about the 26 with 53 seconds, and Unity does finally call a timeout. All righty. So well, tense times here, as, as Monticello knows full well, getting down by 17 or 16 is going to make it tough. I think everybody in the fans uh, all know the, the significance of this game and you know the big rivalry and so forth. They're getting a little agitated uh, uh, with some of the calls and some of the spots and everything else. But, uh, you know, the one thing you like about it is it is such a tense rivalry that, mm -hmm. you know, that makes it a lot of fun to watch. A lot of purple in the stands. The stands aren't jammed full, but they're very full. I'd, I'd give it a good 80% capacity. And, and part of it, too, Doug, is, is the proximity to communities. A lot of these guys work with, with other guys, uh, you know, from Unity and other, and other towns. And, you know, it, it's a pride thing and, and uh, that kind of thing. And that's what football's fun for. And it's our home turf. We want to defend the home turf and, mm -hmm. and uh, start out this conference uh, season uh, with a win. There is just a ton of people here, Doug. Uh, all around the uh, sidelines, you can see them standing up and against the fence. Uh, you know, they're not too far away. They brought a ton of people, and uh, we've got, you know, of course, a lot of folks here too. Great football atmosphere. All that said, it brings us down to 53 seconds and a third and five call in four down territory. Trips to the near side as we as we rush out at him. We, he's going to go deep, turn and look, turn and look, knock it away, and we got a penalty. Oh, they throw the flag on that one. I don't see where the flag should have been unless it was offensive. No, I think he, he was talking to the defensive man. Looks like uh, Saxton, and uh, that'll give him – it's a 10-yard penalty. It won't be a spot foul like it is in the pros. It is an automatic first down, so that will push the ball past the 20. Boy, they let them push off uh, uh -huh. big number 17, and we uh, – I think run something pretty clean there, just yeah. getting between the yeah, uh, quarterback and the receiver. I'm about 50, 60 yards away, but it looked like he just turned and looked. I don't know what the issue was. I mean, he didn't fall down. He didn't alter his movement any. He just got – I thought he had good position. <laughs> but what again, it certainly looked like. So that will put the ball at the 13-yard uh, line with 46 seconds to go. Waiting for the chains to get set, and they are. And uh, they're, they're going to do some razzle-dazzle, and he's got some movement. Oh, shoot. That'll big, big man trying to rumble towards the end zone. Might be just shy. It'll bring a first and goal inside the five down to perhaps the two. No, the clock's going to continue to – well, he stopped the clock. Okay, I don't know why they first stopped and the goal. clock. It's first and goal. So the chains are set on the ground. Oh, we got – Quarterback look probably going to run it, and he does, and he's in. All right, that hurts. So that really definitely puts us in a, a pretty big deep hole mm -hmm. uh, to come out and start the next half. Uh, the only thing I can try to look for in the bright side here is we still got 30 seconds maybe to put some points on the board. Kyle, I'd like to see a big run you back in this You never know. Game. Never know. I'm going to be on the positive side and just hope for the best. Well, it makes uh, Hamilton look pretty good by eating up as much clock as he did. Uh, I don't know if he counted on a 10-yard pass interference penalty, uh, but, well, look who's moving now? Oh, we made them jump. Well, that's a neat thing about only being three yards away. You can be a little more risky on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, we did make them jump. It didn't uh, have much effect the last time we made that happen. Yeah, no, they, <laughs> I bet that kid could knock it in with the ball sitting at the 30. If he hits it right. All right, so guys are jumping around again. We're making them think. All right, and that they might look have wide. Been wide, but nope, it's good. Referees are standing right underneath the pole. I'll trust them on that one, but not on that pass interference call. <laughs> I'll okay. with you on that one. So 41 to 24 as we uh, close out this first half. 31 seconds to go. Real time is 8:17, so it's been an hour and 20 minutes, give or take, of football. 
punctuated by a ton of scoring. You've got 65 points on the board. Uh, a lot of turnovers, mostly by the Sages. Well, all by the Sages. Uh, three interceptions, or two interceptions and a fumble, rather. Uh, and that's been, I'd, I'd say, Doug, that's been the difference in the ballgame. Every turnover we've had, they've taken down and scored. Well, we've only made a punt one time. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so our defense needs to definitely uh, get their act together, and, and they're, they're working hard, Doug. Uh, they've had short fields uh, a few times, and that makes it tough to, uh, to get her done. But an exciting game. We're missing somebody on a kick. Here he comes. Yeah, all right. Well, they got that one worked out. Not so sure if it was somebody that was injured or if they just didn't know uh, mm -hmm. that they should be out there. <clears throat> Had some weird flows to it, but mostly a, a fun we, game. We did have Strack come out of the ball game. That mm -hmm. might have been his spot. They were looking for uh, Could whoever be. would replace him in that case to step onto the field. I don't see him on the sidelines just yet. You've got Florian Graham back to return the kick. Uh, he's not been able to kick this, uh, kick it into the end zone from this side of the ball, kicking towards the south. Maybe there is a little bit of wind. Yeah. Either that or we got in his head he like you said He crawled in his head. That's going to be short, too. Looks to be turned to Graham. He picks it up to the 10. Comes to the near side. He's got some returns. Got some blockers in front of him. Block somebody. There we go. He'll get all the way out to the 30. Nice return by Nathan Graham, the sophomore. Good job right there. Long run just to pick up a few yards, but as he was crossing the field looking for a lane. Mm -hmm. All right, so with 24 seconds to go, Sage is with uh, one or two timeouts. See what we can do. Unity's probably going to put the prevent defense in. <laughs> I don't know that's really going to help at all. All right. Officials timeout, or Unity does call a timeout with... Uh, 24 ticks on the clock. Marcel, one of the few teams that doesn't have a, uh, uh, a tenth of a second counter on their scoreboard. Those were became a little more popular uh, here of late. I don't know that it would make too much of a difference right now. No, no, it wouldn't. Because we only need 10 seconds to get down the field, Kyle. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll have that 80 yard or Freeman open on, on a situation like this, but it uh, doesn't mean you can't throw it. I'll take the 80-yarder to Becker down the middle, maybe. <laughs> We've seen he was open once and was able to score for us. I'd like to take that uh, over-the-shoulder throw to Burton once again. Mm -hmm. All righty, we got the first and 10 then. Ball sits at the 34. He looks to show the outside quickly as Freeman. He'll get about 10 yards and a nice push out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with 19 ticks. Get you just a little bit closer to midfield and give them nine yards on the pickup. They're really laying off soft here. They sure are. Giving us the outside edge. Well, they have the time to. Welter underneath. He gets a block. Well, he doesn't. And uh, Welter calls a timeout. Stop with 13 seconds to go. Ball sits at the 50, so we've moved from the 31 to the 50 in about uh, 10 seconds, 11 seconds. So we'll. We'll have to go a little bit deeper on these next couple of throws, but he threw it hard and on his target. It's exactly what you need to do in that case. Walter having a pretty good game himself. Uh, not the long catches, but you know the, the Doug Waddle underneath possession catches. I believe he's actually leading the team in yardage. I wouldn't Bundy's be surprised. Just underneath them, uh, both of them are having a really nice year. They're both on the News Gazette, I believe, uh, leaderboard for. Pass receptions. Well, Freeman's going to make some noise with this one. He's got about 150 yards on him. On I, half, there's half a dozen no doubt pitches. about it. He's definitely going to be looked at now, if not before. Well, if we've had five different guys receive a ball and uh, as many run the ball, so we're spreading it out pretty good. All right, he's going to go uh, in the middle to Becker. He's going to get upfield. Oh, taken out by his own man. <laughs> oh, boy. Can't fault him for trying as Chase Hinton hustles down the field. We've got four seconds left. He wouldn't have gotten too far anyway, but. Uh, no, that was uh, just, you know, that's a uh, <laughs> right there just trying hard and, yeah. and, and, and you make that mistake. But you can bet when they look at films, they're going to be, uh, you know, to say a nice tackle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he, he gets credit for that. I don't so. think you get credit for that one. You're right. But. <laughs> 
but it it won't be forgotten. No. <laughs> Not but, quickly anyway. Well, and Becker was looking to make something out of what he had, and when you go underneath like that, you're, you know, you're just waiting for the contact. Hinton was coming up to try to help block for him, and, and good hustle by Chase. Just hustled in the wrong direction. So, maybe. David, does that uh, mean our timeouts are done? Ours are done. Well, well we got four seconds anyway, so I think it's time to try to launch to the end zone. They're only going to have four men up on the line of scrimmage in uh, defense right now, trying to put pressure on, uh, on uh, Wildman. So that'll mean that we can send a lot of men deep, too. Hail Mary. Yeah, that's right. Looks like that's what we're going to have. Uncork it, and he does. It's going to be short. Isaiah coming back, and uh, maybe if he'd thrown a little bit higher. Definitely needed to get it up in the air, but he was being pursued right as he was trying to throw that ball. So that'll do it for the halftime. Um, first half anyway. A lot of scoring. Uh, like I say, 65 points on the board. The band is up next. Uh, Doug and I will step away, as, uh, and David Wells, our cameraman, will see you at the end of the uh, halftime. Once again, don't forget those 50-50 tickets. It looks like a nice take-home prize for someone tonight. Round up some more 50-50 tickets before the end of the third period. So the high school is proud to present the marching sages in the performance of their 2014-15 competitive field show. The band this year under the direction of Allison Allen will earn Amanda Allen. Guard instructor is Mary Gims, percussion instructor is Mr. Jody Snow. The competitive field show is commissioned for the marching sages and is dedicated to lifelong man Shirley Manuel. This year's show, titled Ascension, written by Mr. Craig Fitzpatrick.
Rob Major, Sophie, Sophie Rimmer, Rimmer Gabby, Gabby Singleton, Singleton Megan, Megan Taylor, Taylor, and Alex, Alex Woolley is your, is your band, band ready. ready. Marching Sages, the field is yours.
and gentlemen, gentlemen the, mighty the mighty Marching, marching Sages Band. Congratulations to the Marching Sages who won Grand Champion last week at Sullivan High School's Marching Band Competition. We would like to again invite you to the Sage City Marching Band Invitational right here at Monticello High School. Tomorrow, 16 bands from around the state step off at noon. The Marching Sages will perform at approximately 5. We encourage all the Sage fans to lend their support as we continue our competitive season. The Marching Sages will attend the Marching Music Games at Mount Zion High School September the 27th, the Eastern Illinois University Competition October 4th, and conclude their competitive season at the University of Illinois Marching Band Championships October the 18th. He's got the Bundy, Bundy right there on the slant. Comes across to pick up the touchdown. Say He's got the Bundy, Bundy right there on the slant. Comes across to pick up the touchdown. Sage is up on the board. Six to nothing. Let's see what. Wilter moves to a wing. Stays in motion. Wildman looking to go deep. He Comes underneath, and that's caught, caught by, by Bundy. Bundy has got some wheels, he's and it looks score. like he's going to score to the end zone as no one's getting close. All right, nice job by Bundy to uh, wrestle the ball away and find some space. And uh, That's what he'll give to you, Kyle. Yeah. When he makes uh, the grab, he does a great job of making the run after the catch. Not a lot of pursue on the backside either. I don't know if they thought he was just going to get tackled because so many men were around him or, or uh, if they didn't know he even caught it. Anyway, the Sages are down by nine, so they do need the two points to make it a one-score difference, or at least one point. But haven't hey, seen. Uh, you might as well go for two here as in uh, getting the playoff. Looks like they're going to have to. Looks like they're going to go for two. So it's kind of crucial, even with the touchdown. Uh, you still are a two-score difference if you don't get this uh, two points in. Look for that jump pass over the center. Mm-hmm. He tosses, fake toss. He's got Bundy again, and he catches it for two. Nice job right there as he was falling out to the back of his yeah. uh, trousers there. A little slick on the field, so it's 21-7, to seven, Doug. Three and a half to go. What do you think?
Welcome back to the uh, second half of this uh, contest this evening, Doug. As we get settled in, the, the band performed very well. And uh, the truck thing is over, and we're getting ready for a second half of football. Unity will start off receiving the ball in the north end zone. And uh, having a 17-point lead, look for probably, I would guess, a lot more running and, uh, and a chance to uh, eat up the more clock. They did a nice job on that last series of not only eating up the clock, but uh, putting three scores difference between us and them. So, yeah, them uh, getting the ball back right now is kind of our, a nightmare for us, but... Who knows, maybe we could turn this into an opportunity to get a good kick right here, maybe put the shoulder pad into somebody else and knock the ball loose, get it back, and turn this game around. We need the momentum. Sages have had a, a quality ball game outside of three turnovers, and uh, you know that's just going to hurt against a good Ball's team like Unity. on the ground, bobbling around. He's still having trouble picking it up. Sages are really pursuing Ooh. hard. Nice big hit right there. I was hoping that would come loose. Well, they were just licking their chops, Doug, once they got to the 30 and realized he didn't have the handle on it, and he really didn't have the handle very much on it. Smacked around by Cameron Bedinger to, and a host of other purple shirts. Nice hustle by the uh, kickoff team, and I'm sure they had a little bit of a talking to after the way they let one go by them in the last half when we were only down by three. So here's our chance to climb back into this ball game. It's going to be a steep hill to climb, but we uh, have the capability of doing it as long as we can shut down this run game. Uh, of unity. Quarterback looks to throw early. He's got a man open underneath. He's got the big boy. He's got some room. That time we got uh, stuck on the outside and, and they were that was a well thought out play by unity to create the opening to the outside then. Almost looked in slow motion the way that developed Doug because he had the ball and nobody was chasing after him right away. I don't know if we were expecting pass. I wasn't. I was thinking they were just going to run the ball, and here this they go. This time right up the center, full back up the middle. Good nine-yard carry on the play. Brings up second and one as the ball gets pushed quickly out to the 34-yard line after being downed inside the 20, 15. So, so far they're coming out, and they're going to just bring it right at us. Going to say if you could shut us down, mm -hmm. well, you might have a chance to crawl back into this ball game, but we're going to keep the pressure on. So Sages looking for an opportunity as they're running the ball again. Boom. Nice hit there by Bundy coming across. and He tattooed him. <laughs> tattooed him, taking his feet right out from underneath him. First thing it hit was his back as it hit the turf. Well, the second half of last week's game, we saw nothing but a power eye, double tight end, coming come smack us around. I'm sure that uh, they noticed that as well. He looks to throw. He's got the big man that's going to be knocked out of bounds. Way out of bounds, overthrown. Brings up second and ten. Bundy was out there in good coverage, although there was really no chance for him to make that catch. We have a running clock against uh, St. Joe. I'm sorry, St. Joe is beating St. Thomas Moore 44 to nothing in the third quarter. Whoa, they're putting it on him right there. So that game's going to end a lot sooner than this one will. Trips to the far side. Quarterback looks to throw to the uh, underneath man. He's got some room. Get about six, seven yards. Brings up third and about four. Don't see a running clock in the future here because Sages have shown the ability to march down the field in the mm -hmm. first half. I expect them to be able to continue to do that. And, Doug, if nothing else, uh, this team hasn't allowed a lot of points. This is the most points anybody scored on them in a game, let alone a half. And there's our... Our, our penalties. Yeah, the we got to quit that. We got to stop making those mistakes. You just gave a first down to the team right there, in a position that you <laughs> you can't afford to give them stuff like. I mean that, and we've done that more. I like than once. being eager. I like the fact that they're eager to, to to you know go up there and make the big hit, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you can't jump the line. Got to be smart. All right, so ten and a half to go here in the second quarter. Sages uh, now have the ball in there. Tor or the Rockets are moving into Sage territory. We've got trips on the near side. With the motion man, they've done a couple of things. Pass to him and then run underneath. Here he goes. Run underneath is what we've got. Quarterback's going to die for about three yards. Call it second and seven. You know, I'm, I don't mind that one right there. You shut him down for only a two-yard gain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second and eight then. Even better. 
Unity looking to the sidelines to get their plays called in from the side. Not seeing a whole lot of energy on either side of the field right now. No, not really. Here comes something as a quarterback keeps the ball. And he just has a really strong, powerful legs, and he doesn't quit moving them, Doug. He carried a man about four yards, Low three center yards. of gravity, yeah. really. He really, his hips get low and the feet stay underneath him. Hard to take him down. So he'll bring up third and about two. Quarterback keeps the ball, goes off tackle. They've, they've done that very well tonight for chunks of yards. You know, we're just guessing out there and mm -hmm. taking the chances. He was almost able to break that one through all the way. As if you don't pick the right hole, it can be dangerous. First down, ball sits at the Sage 32. Sage is looking to make something happen. Well overthrown. <laughs> Little cheap shot by Bundy, <laughs> and he helps him up. Knocked him down. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, he went up for it, and he didn't know whether he was going to come back with it or not. So he kind of caught him in a vulnerable spot. So brings up second and ten. Ball kind of high, and, and the, he's a tall receiver, so you, you don't mind placing it high, but way too high. Nice of Bunny to kind of help pick him up after knocking him on his butt. If they'd have thrown the flag out, I'd argued with you and said it was an expensive shot. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't, so. Stack tripped on the near side. Quarterback keeps the ball. He'll get uh, about four yards. Two guys way downfield, pancaked. <laughs> wow. That was wow. That was, that was way downfield. That was Red Winsky down there. So that, that's only about a, a two-yard gain. So a, a, a decent spot as Red comes out for a blow. Brings up third and nine. Good chance for the Sages to uh, get the ball back. Oh, somebody's moving. It's got to be on Unity. It is, and that'll push them back to third and 14. But you're right, Doug. They're just kind of, I don't want to say wandering around out there, but the intensity that was in the first half and the scoring, uh, by this time in the first half, we were we already had three scores on the board. Uh, exactly. I mean, both sides. I'm not just saying one side. Mm -hmm. Both sides yeah. of the ball just kind of like, okay, what are we just uh, going by the numbers here and running this game out or? Uh -huh. I'd like to see a little emotion. Uh, I think they got a little tired in that this. first half. All that kicking and running, and the quarterback's yeah. got the ball looking for a screen. And he has a man. Uh, he'll get about three or four yards. I'm sorry, seven some, yards. Pick up some decent yardage on the play as Becker was pursuing the quarterback, really putting some pressure on him, but that's because he was let through on a mm -hmm. screen play. Screens are kind of tough to run at the high school level. I'm, I'm not sure why. I've not seen very many good screens. They're good to try. Uh, but it, almost everything has to happen right for him. Quarterback's going to roll fourth and six. He's going to get tied up a little bit. He's looking for a man going deep, and it's going to be out of bounds. No. Sage take over on downs. Nice job by the defense. He must have had his foot on the line when he caught it, Doug, because he, he was he was open enough to make the first down, but I think he yeah, just he was standing right out. there just trying to you know mm -hmm. keep him in. But Alrighty. Nice job there for the Sages to get the ball back. That could be the type of momentum shift that maybe uh, well, puts yeah. some energy back into our side of the line of scrimmage. You definitely have to, to stop them if you're going to get in this one. We're down by three scores regardless of extra points. Saw a little bit more pep in their step as they were running out onto the field, almost like they want to take advantage of it. So hopefully that's the difference. Well, when back, low snap, he looks to hand off to Baker, and he does so he'll maybe get Stacked no, up no quickly, gain. no gain. Mm hmm Maybe even lost a yard on the play. Brings up second and ten. Ball sits at the Sage 29. I'd like that to be sold a little bit more, you know. Once you make the handoff, act like you're running down the line of scrimmage uh, as if you're going to do the read option. Mm -hmm. Twins on the near side and Bundy and Welter. You got Freeman and Becker on the far side. Baker back for protection. He uncorks it to Becker in and out of his hands. Thrown hard right there. That was one of those plays where when you catch the ball, you know you're going to get hit. 7.45 then in this third quarter. Big Still. play right here in the game, Kyle. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, you got to pick up this first down, and it's a long third and uh, 11 here at least. Freeman comes to the near side along with Becker. You've got Bundy and Welter on the far side. No tight end. Baker back for protection. Coming on the blitz right now. Let's pick it up. Roll the outside, 
He's going to have to repeat himself, and he, and he won't. He'll be about three yards shy. Boy, and you almost wonder. We faked the punt once. You really hate to give it to him in this side of the field, but you also hate to give it to him on the other side of the field. I don't think that you really – I mean, this is the opportunity that you have right now. If you want to crawl back in this ball game, mm -hmm. got to you, make your breaks. you got to make them for yourself right now. We have chances to make up for mistakes that you have as Burton comes in for Baker. 17 seconds left on the play clock, plenty of time. Wouldn't mind seeing him draw offside. That'd be kind of nice. All right, looking for some room. He's going to have to run it. He might get it. A little hard running, and he does. Nice job, job by Brent right Wildman. There. You betcha. Corner came up and tried to uh, slow him down, but he just put the shoulder into him and drove through to get the yardage we needed. I'd like to say I knew if that was supposed to be a run or not, Doug. I don't. It looked like he really wanted to pass it, but I did see fielders down blocking, so maybe it was a designed run play away for pressure. Welter on the near side by himself. You've got Bundy lined to the wing and Freeman Farr split to the right. Becker and Baker in the backfield. As he hands off to uh, Burton, rather. He gets a nice hard-fought three yards, brings up second and seven. You know, he found a hole and, and drove through it, used his uh, leg strength and to, to pick up the positive yardage. Something that we really uh, need is a positive yardage on that first down. Nice job to get the first down, Doug. I think another big play or a play, and you might get the crowd back in it. Right now they're just kind of sitting waiting for something to happen. you got Twins on the near side with Welter and Becker. Bundy and Freeman on the far side as he looks to throw. He uncorks it to Freeman. He catches. Oh, thought he was going to catch that one. That's the first true drop that we've seen. We've seen some bounce off some hands that were tough catches. That was right off the numbers. Maybe Lucky wasn't picked off. I think he heard some footsteps out there. He knew that uh, you know, he had to bring it in quickly. I don't know how wet the field would be. I think it's probably getting moist with this cool air. air temperatures hovering around the mid-60s. Trips on the near side with Becker on the line. Freeman and Bundy surround him as Burton moves to the right. Welter split by himself on the far side of the field as Freeman goes in motion. Looks to run it himself. He's going to uncork it. He's got Freeman alone. A nice job once again down the sideline as he was able to score. Wildman sold that one by once again showing the run, bringing the pass, delivered a nice a smooth ball right in stride. And again, those two are having a big night, Kyle. Don't say die. You've got a 30-41 to 41 ball game. Your defense has come to life. Your offense just put six on the board. Two points here would be really nice. I'm sure they talked a little bit about the trickeration we've been using in the first half when they went in at halftime, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they've got an answer for everything that Welter's got in the playbook. All right, see if they toss this one to Becker. He hasn't had his hands on the ball yet. They do. Oh, he's going to throw it. Oh, oh, nobody to see it, so that'll stay 30 to 41. Nobody looking. It's almost like you got to call it out as they were trying to block for him. So... That one was not successful, but we're only 11 points down. we still got a lot of time to play in this football game, Kyle. I like our chances to, as long as we keep this momentum going in our direction. Six thirty-two. then. The, uh, that quarter again went much faster than the uh, either of the other two previous quarters. Bringing the crowd to life a little bit on our side of the field. As they liked what they saw. That's two touchdowns to uh, Noah Freeman. He's having a, a monster night. He's got well over 200 yards in passing at halftime, uh, receiving rather. At halftime, Wildman was pushing 300 yards with two touchdown catches. The only problem was he had two interceptions. Nice job by the Sages to uh, stop him and get some points quickly and uh, put well, themselves closer to the Rockets. One thing I hope we did when we went in at halftime is talked about kickoffs. Yeah. We had a big mistake there early on, letting a man get loose. Ball picked up the 25 and up the Nice tackle the right there. That was look, Nathan, Nathan Graham. Graham coming in there making that tackle, showing his speed and really uh, making a, a nice tackle to get to his ankles and bring him down. Good submarine tackle and uh, had a hold of his ankles. He wasn't going to go anywhere. Ball starts at the 30 then for the Rockets and uh, see if this Sage defense can get it back and help themselves out. 
A lot of things worked for the Rockets uh, in the first half, Doug. They did a nice job of running off tackle. Occasionally they would throw the ball, but I would say this is more of a running team regardless of what the press, press clippings say. Trips on the near side, a single receiver out wide as uh, he quarterbacks keeps the ball and he'll be upended two-yard game. He is a, it is a running team, like you say, but they are a running team that has the ability to throw the ball downfield. Mm -hmm. They're always well coached and hard-nosed, Doug, and uh, uh, will always be a force to be contend with in the conference. Second and a long nine as he only got about a yard on that play. Defensive line doing a fine job of keeping his eye, keeping their eyes on him and not giving that open lane. Ryan Burns saw that that was a Comes to the near quarterback side. draw. Oh, oh it's shoot. a wide open right up the center. There's no one to stop that. And I was best about to say they do a little better job off tackle than they do up the middle, and that's where they went. So that uh, erases the six points that the Sages got back, and... Well, that quarterback has certainly got a lot of yards rushing in this ball game so far. You'd almost think that he'd be wearing himself out by this point in time. <laughs> he does have probably a couple hundred yards rushing or close to it. Well, it's a high scoring affair. <laughs> it sure is. You've got 77, 78 points on the board. No matter which side of the ball game you're on, at least you're seeing your team put some points on the board, yep. just that our points are a little bit too short. Well, big plays have been uh, been a help for Unity. They've had a couple of, well, their first play from scrimmage was about an 83-yard touchdown run, and they've uh, added to that with uh, interceptions and fumble recoveries and whatnot. Uh, they've had a lot of good things go for them. We need some things to happen that are bad for them. We're down by 18 now after the uh, missed, income, missed extra point by us, and they made one. 30 to 48. That's a lot of points. I think uh, right the, the stat that I think is biggest right now is how few times they've had to punt in this ball game. Well, it just shows that uh, defensively we have not been able to get it done. No. Of slowing down their offense. They punted uh, the one time. They've lost it on downs and have scored all the other times. Crowd still seems to be into it. A lot of times after halftime, you'll see a few folks leave, and uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, you've got well over 1,000 people here tonight. That's because the Sage ball team, uh, when they do get on offense, gives it keeps giving us a little bit of hope. Yes, sir. Making us feel like it's going to happen. All right, nice high kick going to be turned by Flory. Picks it up about the 20. Has a few blockers in front of him. And one knife's through and brings... Oh, still on his feet. Cut back. He could have something. And he doesn't. All righty. Nice hustle by the uh, Unity kickoff team. And he'll lose down to the 20. So it's his, it was exciting. I thought if he could have gotten away from the, the herd, he, he had a wide the open one field. Man. Yeah. Who knows what could have happened as he maybe have been able to get to the outside. Can't fault him for trying. I'd have done the same thing, although <laughs> I probably for a would have second been there, I wasn't sure if he was going to run towards his own end zone. <laughs> <laughs> he gets spun around like that. <laughs> One of those famous plays from the NFL. Isaiah in his first year of uh, high school football as a sophomore. Baker in motion to the far side. Burton on, or Wildman on a run. Wildman right there, just not able to get the speed up right on the first couple of steps that you need to get up through a hole like that. Had the option of throwing to Baker on the flat as he went into motion. Not a lot of huddling going on as the, each team is getting their direction from the sidelines. Nobody's been huddling hardly at all. He's got Bunny as a release valve. He's got lots of time to throw. He goes deep to Freeman again, and that's a penalty. Come on. He oh, caught he it caught anyway. The ball, no matter Holy what. cow. Beautiful job right there. Who's having an, uh, just an enormous night of catching the football. That's Freeman. <laughs> Somebody throw a bucket of water on number eight, man. He is getting toasted out there by Noah Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> In fuego. <laughs> he's not going to like film session next week regardless of the outcome he's getting beat 
He's go, getting torched by a junior. Go right back at him. Nice job by Burton. I thought he got interfered with a little bit. Bundy with the ball. Nice big receiver pushing his man around. And the Sages offense is moving. So one thing that they've been able to do tonight is move the ball. Wildman had a lot of protection. Nice job up front by the uh, the line. You had Redwinski, uh, Mike Redwinski, and Greg the center. Chase Hinton and uh, Ryan Burns. Dylan Wildman in there, extra tight end on the near side. As he goes wide to Bundy again, or Burton on the far side. Burton using a good uh, stiff arm to maybe get up there to the first down marker. I believe he has it, Doug. Good position football out there. Ball Hit sits the man, let him, uh, let him make, the, make the play. Ball's at the 24, first and 10. Freeman back in the ball game. He took a rest on that last one. <laughs> He's Probably. making some good catches tonight, Doug. <laughs> Just something. You've got Welter and Freeman on the near side. And he comes back across the green. Oh, that was scary. Oh, Once, my. Come on, throw the flag on that. He's right all over the top of him. Oh, wow. That's a shock. Uh, just a dangerous pass once again. Yeah. It's what he did earlier to cause the interception. Uh, that You're right. When he goes across the grain like that, it's it's tense times. I, I thought he got a little bit of push from the backside before the ball got there, but I'm not owner of the yellow flag. Either way, brings up second and ten. Ball sits the 24. No big deal. Sages are, are potent enough they can get 10 yards on one play, let alone three. I could go for a score right here. You've got Welter. I'm sorry. Yeah, Welter and uh, Bundy on the near side. Becker and Freeman on Looks the outside. Looks for Welter, and it's overthrown. Just a touch. They have shut down the slant there in the first half, Doug, and I haven't seen us even try one yet here in the second half, and I wonder if uh, now might be a good time if they think we've gone away from it. Well, that's true, Kyle, but uh, right now we're taking shots at the end zone, it mm -hmm. looks like. Brings up third and long. Like to pick up at least uh, eight yards on the play, if possible. But we're going to the end zone once again. Six points. And once again, just burned his man over on the other sideline. That is, that is Bundy, who was able to make the catch. Nice job. Uh, Bundy's been a little bit quiet tonight. He hasn't had the ball nearly as much, and that's fine. I don't think he cares. Uh, but a good touchdown. 22-yard tu touchdown reception on that. So, again, just a beautiful play. Good pass. Let him just right. Like to see that. Good job of the Sages. They've been down by three scores twice in this second half, and they, they're not quitting anyway, quitting it in at all. This could draw us within 10, 36-48. Regular formation on the offense, so the trickeration file is empty. As uh, Wildman runs hard, he should have the Wildman extra point. Nice job. Nice job right there. He just... Uh, Made sure he put his head down and kept his legs driving. Had good blocking on that side. Was able to put it in the end zone. So we're back to the 10 points, Kyle. Again, giving that glimmer of hope. All we need is a defense to mm -hmm. make some make plays. Play. Pick six or something. Well, if we could get them to throw the ball, Maybe that could be an opportunity, but so far they've just been cutting their quarterback loose on the run. He's pretty good, Doug, and they, they blocked that play just enough to give him a wide opening, and for whatever reason, there's nothing left after first level. Linebackers are either biting on the fake or getting blocked out. And he's a good hard runner. I mean, even when he's in traffic, uh, his legs keep him pushing and a uh, good athlete. Got some speed. We've not really been able to run him down from behind, even with an angle. Mm -hmm. So 359. This quarter slowing down a little bit with all these kickoffs now. It was uh, 41 to 24 at half. We've scored twice. They've scored once. Ten point difference. Proud of the way the Sages have come back from last week. We didn't play our best effort, and uh, we're putting a pretty good effort into this. Save a few plays. We're ahead of them, Doug. All right, ball kicked hard along the ground, picked up at the 15. Oh, there's, nice there's tackle. Nathan Graham once again. 
who two times in a row on kickoffs has really just done the job of putting his man down as soon as he gets there. Whatever message they got at halftime, he put it up, tattooed it on his forehead and is playing it out right here. Nice job, Nathan Graham. Two solo tackles in a row for little to no gain. Ball sits inside the 25. I'll take that every kickoff. Doesn't have a lot of size, but what he makes up for is heart. Pound for pound, you're right. He he does play hard, and uh, he doesn't let that size get in front of him. Quarterback keeps the ball looking for some running room. He'll be tossed oh, for a loss. Nice job there as Becker was able to wrap him up. I think that was a loss on the play. I'd say loss of at least a yard. Sages have just not given up. That's what I like to see. I'm seeing a little spirit over there as they're tell you realizing what, that they're not out of this game. Tell you what, they make a break for themselves here, Doug. Momentum will be forever on their side. Nathan Graham playing some, some defense now. Quarterback fakes the handoff, looks to pass, and, and tackled by Nathan Graham for a first down there. Pass the 35 down to the 37, maybe 36. Saw the young man come in. They went right at him on the slant. But Nathan makes the tackle. Well, if he doesn't, it's six the other way, Doug. We're playing up on him to stop the run, and that makes us susceptible to those longer passes. Surprised we're seeing as much passing as we are here, Doug. But you, you want to mix it up, and you can't be too predictable. It is a tighter game. Trips on the near side, single receiver on the far side, quarterback hands off, and he'll go nowhere. nowhere. Shut down at the line of scrimmage as everybody was in on that tackle. No faking right there at all. Yes, sir. To put things in perspective, Doug, uh, the 38 points on the board before the end of the third quarter is more than the other three teams have been able to put on this team combined. Quite literally a dog fight here. Need make the Come tackle. On, make the tackle. Ah, you can't you can't just show up, you gotta tackle. Alright, that hurts. Ah! That hurts a lot. Had him in a third and long. Alright, so the uh, Rockets will get inside Sage territory on that catch and scamper. Just the pass went nowhere. We just missed the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Simple little out route like that. Mm -hmm. Gotta come up, keep your feet underneath you. Not dive for for anything. You got to make the hit. Good job by the defense to not jump off sides. They're trying to pull us. First and ten. Then ball sits at the 35. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Quarterback looks Throwing to throw outside. Ooh, almost. Ball was in the air as it was tipped. Bundy had his eyes on it. Couldn't get quite close enough. Nathan Graham was on coverage there, coming up and. Maybe he was intimidating them. <laughs> Heard footsteps. That's right. Had a little zip on the ball, and, and, and I got to think there's some dew and some wetness out there, a little slick perhaps. 155 to go then, second and 10. Ball's at the 35. Trips receivers on the near side. Single receiver towards the sidelines. Shotgun formation. Quarterback hands off. Check that. Keeps it. Loses Balls the ball. on the ground. That might be ours. I think that's our ball. That could be. It is our ball. I'm sure of it. Yes. Come on, referee. Yes. yes, referee's on our side this time. That's exactly what needed is the big break. Finally a turnover on our side, to, or for us rather. Looks like Nathan Harmon looking pretty happy coming out of the bottom of the pile. He was wrapped up, but he wasn't down, and then the quarterback loves to keep his feet moving. You want to do that anyway, but somebody ripped it out of his hands. Sages so have a turnover. Ball sits at the 40, 60 yards for making this a lot more interesting. Where's our toast man out there? <laughs> All right. Wildman's looking deep again. Throws it out there. Nice. It, nice grab. Is they going to give it to him? It looked like he caught it. All right. Ball sits to the 40. And, uh, nice job there as he was diving at his toes. That was Becker coming down with the ball. You can see the blood pressure and the, the tenseness rising on the uh, east side of the field, Doug. You can just feel it. Ah. All righty. The big mo. The mo. The mo be wearing purple at the moment. One and a half to go here in the third quarter. 
Hand off to uh, Bur Burton. He's got looking for some room. Tackle from behind. Going north and south. Nice job getting upfield. Give him four yards. Second and six. That's something you got to teach a, a running back. Is just when you start to get tight in quarters in there, you just got to go north and south and drive your legs. And that's something that he's always been able to do for us. Nice to have Burton back running the ball. Missed the first three games due to injury. Twins on the far side, and Wyman's going to call his own number. He'll get a couple of yards, maybe one. Brings up second, third rather, and five. Something that they have to respect, that he's going to take off like that. That kind of cuts down on the pass rush sometimes, mm -hmm. which we could use right here as we'll be looking to send that deep. I sense confidence in the way the offense is moving around. Not They don't need to be so much urgent. you got a whole other quarter to go. Your defense just got the ball back for you. Got a tight formation, a little different thing over here. 11 seconds on the play clock as they re-spread. Brundy on the near side. Freeman in the slot. He's going to go deep to Bundy. He's wide. Oh, uh, just overthrown by about a yard. Bundy was still out there checking with the receiver as to whether or not he was on the line when the ball was snapped, so he didn't get off the line mm. um, right, right with the snap. That would have made the difference on whether or not he could have run underneath that one. Well, so we'll now it's a tough situation with fourth and six, Kyle. Got to go for it. Uh, 15 seconds left, potentially the last play of the quarter. Our, cor our cor Their corners aren't nearly as fast as our receivers, I'm noticing, Doug. Looking for Becker. Touchdown! Oh! oh didn't almost. come down with it as it was in his hands. Tipped uh, maybe just before it gets there. Had the chance, the opportunity. Seven seconds to go in the quarter. Nice effort. Good route. Good pass. Just blocked at the last second. You know, he was looking for something underneath. He really wanted to go to the short pass, I thought. Uh -huh. But well, then yeah. the, the only opportunity was to throw it downfield as we were beating our man. Mm -hmm. Just a matter of good that you can get it there. Their defense coach got to be pulling his hair out. I don't know how many times we've seen purple shirts beyond the white shirts, and that's rule number one, never let a guy get behind you. That's what I mentioned before. I think we're just faster than, they are, than their secondary is. All right, so Unity dodges the bullet. Give, Sages give up the ball and downs at the 35 after getting a fumble. Last play of the quarter. Hand off underneath. He's strong eyes looking for some room. He'll get about five yards. And that will be the end of the fourth quarter, or third quarter rather. Score is 38 to 48 with the Rockets hanging on to a 10 point lead. Yeah, I have to think, Kyle, that you're going to see a lot more of that. Just they're going to start running, yeah. running, running. You know, the big danger that they have right now and left in this game is time on the clock because right. we can come back. We've shown that we can move the ball quickly when we need to. So certainly over there they're going to be talking about what are we going to do to keep that clock running. We haven't heard anything from Rantoul and Moreau, but i got to think Rant Moreau is giving them, giving them a beating. St. Joe is all over St. Thomas Moore. The score is 44-7. to The JV defensive unit is in for St. Joe. Next week, Doug, Rantoul travels to St. Thomas Moore for the Battle of the Bottom. Uh, Monticello will be going towards to uh, St. Joe. How much do you think we think they need? And uh, Unity will be hosting Maroa. They just called the 50-50 numbers out, Kyle. I don't know if you have bought <laughs> your tickets tonight, but big crowd here tonight. We're looking at over $750 in the 50-50 pot. All right, now I, I missed it, but... Uh, Chances are I didn't win anyway. Oh, you'd have donated it back anyway, so. Yeah, most of it. <laughs> <laughs> got to at least take my yeah. wife out to dinner. All righty. Nice job out there. Stringing them out and hanging them down. Really just put them down on the field. That was uh, Burton, Burton staying with it. I haven't seen Josh Strack make it back onto the field, Doug, so whatever injury he had to his knee I think has taken him out of action. Maybe it's just one of those situations you don't want to aggravate it and make it worse. Mm -hmm. Give him some time to recoup. We need him back on the field next week. Uh -huh. I don't see him on the sidelines necessarily, and we don't. We're not packing a lot of guys. I think we got about 37 on the roster. So, not seeing uh, Jimmy Matthews in the ball game either. He was uh, got tweaked again a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's on the sidelines, moving up and down a little bit, but just not walking gingerly. Third and 13, big play. Here come the Sages, looking to get in. 
Quarterback getting bounced around a lot. He'll go Bounce down. Bounce ball on the ground again. Come on, guys. Let's make it ours. That would really be sweet. Put it in a good position. And the Sages and have it. Sages are jumping. Their momentum is uh, definitely switched a little bit. Got to put Sages it. will get the ball at about the 28-yard line. You got to put it in this time. So the defense is coming up big on the last two, forcing not only some just some good plays, but two fumbles. Well, you know, they're, what they're doing, Kyle, is just against every, all logic. They're trying to throw the ball. Yeah. And we're They've putting been, the pressure on, and the defensive line has really been getting in the backfield. They've beaten us with the run, Doug. I, I'm with you on that one. I don't understand it either. But third and 13, maybe that's what you got to do. All right, uh, Wildman looking to throw. He's going to get eaten up in the backfield, and he'll lose a ton. That time right there, they were just on top of him. Really didn't I don't have know a if chance. they were trying to set up a screen. It didn't look like it. But no, no. He didn't. He had four receivers going deep, and uh, the six blockers weren't enough as Wildman's gimping a little bit. He didn't have much of a chance to release it as they came hard up the middle on a stunt with a linebacker. Number 42 there, the middle linebacker, came in really hard, and we weren't able to pick them all up with a four-man rush. So gimping like that, he's going into shotgun formation. Hopefully we can stop that pass rush. Ten-yard ten loss on the play as uh, Burton gets split out with Freeman. You've got Welter and uh, Baker on the far side, or Bundy rather. And underneath a miscommunication, and that's sometimes the trouble with, uh, with no huddle. Miscommunication perhaps also could be uh, the fact he's got a little bit of a gimpy ankle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that can be hard to put pressure on when you need to drive the ball. All right, third and 20, four-down situation. Let's go at number eight once again. And he gets free. He's looking for a uh, free man. There he is, and it's in the end zone. Once again. That's not just toast. I think it's Burt Crispy. <laughs> Somebody give him give him an ALS challenge. Put some water on him, man. He's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> nice job once again. Going back to the well, and the dipper was still there. Drinking plenty. All righty. This would make it 48-46. Boy, if we had that other extra point, Doug, we'd be looking at tying them. <laughs> All right, game, uh, isn't that something? That's you what know, this was predicted to be the game of the week, and i got to tell you right now, it's shaping up that way. You've got 92 <laughs> points on the board with uh, 10 minutes to go in the game, 12 seconds on the play clock. How could it be any more exciting than this? We get a lead. Well, I guess I'll take that. All right, looks to pitch. He does so. Becker looking for the end zone. He's on his feet. He's going to score. Nice job of really stretching down the line of scrimmage and Finding the hole and going north and south. Good job there as the Sages make this a pretty close ball game now. 46 to 48. You just don't see that on the scoreboard very often, Kyle. Nope. Nice job by the Sages to respond on the gift that they finally got from Unity in the situation where they can make, uh, make some noise with it. Is it the possible that what we're doing is wearing them down? Maybe they're getting a little bit more tired than we are. Or is it maybe just the momentum thing that gives you a little bit more energy, the half step that you need I think so. to make a difference? I think so. Like I say, you can just feel the, the neck getting thick and the collar getting tight over there. They've not been challenged all season, Doug. 50 to 13, 42 to 16, 48 to 8. They've never been this tight, this deep in a ball game. Sometimes you, you think you're invincible, and, uh, and that's a bad pill to swallow. Like to see a big play right here. We're looking at uh, uh, you know the kickoff team. These are the young guns. These are the guys that want to make a name for themselves. Mm -hmm. They want everybody in the stands to know that they're the next big thing that's going to be on the offense next year. And they're going to race down the field and wreak, wreak havoc. All right, ball kicks and booted around on the ground, picked up at the 25. He does have a bit of a hole, and he'll be wrapped up and thrown down and inside the 40. So it's a little bit, a little bit deeper than what we like to see. All righty. Now we want to see what Unity responds with, and, and I got a feeling it's going to be the quarterback going off tackle on that uh, power sweep. Um, if, they, if they really were going to be smart, that's what it, I would, it would do. be a steady diet of that, as mm -hmm. that's one of the words that you like to use often, <laughs> Kyle. Well, you haven't stopped. We really haven't stopped that part of their game. We've, they dipsy doodle around in the backfield, and that's when we are able to throw them for a loss. When they come right at us off tackle, we've had trouble. So I'm sure that their coach just had words with them about doing just that. 
Look the from team the got a powered up. All right, trips to the near side. And uh, quarterback Baker. Oh, just a beautiful job of reading the snap count. And Baker, or that, excuse me, Becker came through and just leveled him as they were trying to hand it off. Yeah, nice job by Clay Becker thrown for a loss. He's timing that snap count. You know, that's got his downsides, but uh, he's smart enough to know when he's going to call it when he's not. A little trickery right there as you saw him and uh, Baker trying to switch sides of the field, and he knifed in front of Baker and was able to get a through the line. All right, penalty on the play as uh, something's going on south here. Could be a sideline warning maybe. I don't know. What, what, it, what could this be? March him back. All right, I like that. It All goes right. against Unity. Somebody must have moved. Somebody either moved or lined up over. I don't know. That's not good for them and real good for us. Fans are coming alive here on this side of the field. The cowbells are ringing. The stands are being banged on. I love those aluminum bleachers. Oh, yeah. It's, it's built living up to its title, a game of the week. It certainly is one, Doug. All right, quarterback looks to throw. Oh, he's going to go deep. He's got a man and wide, wide open. open. He's the big man who's going to try to all right. juke and jive, but that was Nathan Graham, all of about five foot seven, taken down six foot four. We had plenty of guys in the area. He just got separation from his man for whatever reason, and we had nobody really on him. So big play for the Rockets to get him out of a bit of a spot, puts it at the Sage 35. Defense needs to respond. And that's, I guess, why you pass, Doug, because you still can. I think they sense they need to score because they've not stopped us much this second half either. Like All right, somebody's it, moving. Nice job right there of being able to get to his legs, but now you got to drag him down. Don't make the mistake of face mask. Yeah, he may have been better Ooh. off just to lay on the ground. He's, he's going to get up a lot slower off of that one. He's going to be a one sore guy in the morning. Tough football player, though. All right, 838 and counting as he loses about five yards on that play. Was that Becker or Baker that was able to get to him? I don't know if it yes. might not have been both. <laughs> I think it was both. <laughs> Let's it was say that you it was needed the killer bees that were getting there. <laughs> All right, he rolls to the near side. He's looking to throw underneath and knocked away. Nice defense by Saxton Van Dalsen. Stayed at home that time, played the man, played the ball. Third and 15. Tipped it, knocked it out of there. Is so... I think you're right, Doug. They are a little bit tired. There's a lot of a lot of running in that first half, and uh, just the emotion can wear you out. Certainly can. 8-18, lots of time. Once again, the crowd are coming alive. They sense the, the need right now for the big play. They're trying mm -hmm. to power them up. Hey. Oh! oh. I don't know who has the ball. That was the quarterback that kept it, but he, Becker knifed through and took out the, the tailback. The quarterback got to the line of scrimmage and was popped. So was that uh, Sutton Winterbaum brought him down? I saw him climbing up, last man off. I didn't see who made the tackles. I, I thought Becker had him at the 45. Fourth and 15. And they're going to call a timeout. With a two-point lead, Doug, I'd consider punting it, you know, get it inside the 10. Fourth and 15 is a tall call. I'm sure they're going to – is there a procedure? Right. They're going to march them and, off. Fourth and 20. Fourth and 20 makes it even more difficult, so. So Graham's going to go back, anticipating a punt. At least that little pooch kick where the – Right. They did and, on us last time. And if nothing else, he can he can see where the first down is and make a tackle. Almost were able to get to the ball. Cuts up field. Still on his feet. Lane. All right, he, he did a nice that hit job. pretty hard, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you what, he hung on to the ball, made some good decisions. The Sages take over at their own 25, down two points, 7.51 on the clock. I like our chances, Kyle. Who'd have thought it, Doug? We had some low moments here in the second half when we let some cheap scores go in the first half and turnovers and all that. All that's past us if we put a solid drive together here. 
Who wants it? Looking for Baker, or Bur Burton out of the backfield, still on his feet. Still nice feet. block. One man to beat. He hits him hard. He was able to nice. get around the corner, pick up an extra 10 yards. I think there's a mo-mo-mo going on this side right now. Noah Freeman with a key block to keep the man from getting free. That got him an extra 10 yards, Doug. I had to quit taking stats. I couldn't keep up. I'm glad I did. I can't, you know, this is too much fun to watch. You need a professional to do that one, Kyle. No. Right now, we got other things to do. Bundy and uh, Freeman on the near side. Becker and uh, Burton on the far side. I don't know. Ball's on the ground. Look out. He look out. hard. Jumped up. He was interfered with. Where's the flag? Somebody needs to throw the flag down there. I mean, he threw it up as a prayer, but holy cow, he got pushed. Terrible, terrible call. The fans are responding right now. That was awful. He was being climbed on as if he was a jungle gym. All right, that'll bring up second and ten. As the fans make their uh, displeasure very well known. No love lost between these two, two teams, Doug. <laughs> Unity's <laughs> loving it over there. All right. Oh, shoot, there's five on us. Oh, they're going to throw the flag now, but... All right. was it before? I, I thought it was stapled in his pocket, but no, it fell out. No, yeah. well, different guy. All right. So they'll make it uh, second and 15 as we had an offensive line and jump a little bit. Looked like it's going to be a pass. So that'll bring up uh, third and second, rather, and 15. People getting excited and wanting to make a difference, but you got to keep your head. He's got, he's got him wide open on the sidelines and out of bounds. All right, he's calling it a catch. Oh, no, well, he's now saying he's no. Not. Well, he shook his head no, so that's why he thought, and then he was signaling a catch. He did step out of bounds, Doug. We could see that. That's unfortunate because he was wide open. Had he had another yard, he probably would have scampered for a lot more. So now we got a tough play here, third and 15. Had he turned it back in bounds a little bit and been led, there was nobody behind him. Let's get it right here and, not, and avoid the fourth down drama. Trips on the far side. In Bundy, Welter, and uh, Freeman. And Bunch of movement this time. That's going to march well, him back again. We had plenty of time on the play clock. He's got to settle down and let the players get set. They're still looking at their forearms, and they don't even know what the play is. There's 10 seconds on the play clock. The thing is, they just called that penalty. I never saw a flag hit the ground. No. Yeah. I mean, it was obvious what it was. but Saves him from bending over to pick it up. The referees, I think, are just a little bit frazzled with the importance of this game as well. Third and 20 now, as we're moving backwards a little better than we are forwards. Stepping up and looking for a man. He goes deep. He's got Burt oh, Freeman just a little overthrown. Man, he really threw it deep that time, but he had to turn him over his shoulder. Yeah. So that will bring out the punting unit. Fourth and 20 is a tough call, and you don't want to give them at the inside your own territory. So a lot of excitement. 7.25 to go. Still plenty of time for good stuff to happen for the Sages. So we, we penalized ourselves out of a, a possible first down, and that kind of hurts. We're still making the mistakes and that, uh, that we can't do against a, a good football team. Mistakes are killers. Baker back to punt. He did fake one before. I don't expect to see it here. Decent punt. Nobody back to return. Let's see if it rolls south. It does. Rolling all the way down to the 20-yard line. Nice job. So we got 80 yards, uh, or the ball sits at the 20. Uh, Sages need, got 80 yards to stop him from scoring, get it back, and put it in the hands of the offense. Setting up a really tough situation here. Unity on the other sideline knows how tight this ball game is, realizes it's in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. They have to put the big drive together. We've stopped them on the last two, done a great job, a lot of momentum on our side. they got to fight through an awful lot. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that uh, we can continue the assault on defense and shut them down one more time. All right, you've got... First and 10, ball sits at the 20. What a game. Watch the big man on the outside they like to throw to. Oh, my. Now they're moving this time. Man, step it off, guys. That looked like that uh, where to go off tackle there, Doug. You see that guard pulled to the near side. So they're going back to the run. So penalties becoming uh, very prevalent here in this second half. Game still in, in relative doubt. Imagine the nerves of everybody down on that field right now. It's a matter of who can harness the nerves and make a good play.
Crowd making their presence known. Everybody's all up and excited. First and 15. Nine goes in motion. Corvette keeps the ball. He's got uh, about four this yards. This time he was pulled down as that was Becker that smelled it out. They knew that same thing was coming as well. Somebody missed a block or something because he was able to get there and make the tackle. So that brings up uh, second and 12. Yeesh. This is exciting, Doug. All I need right. to check my blood pressure. <laughs> oh, they're moving in the backfield. Guess not. Wanting to throw the ball, maybe. No one wants to go with him. That, no, nice he's going to go down for the, for the was, sack. He was telling 17 to go upfield, and 17 didn't, and he had nowhere to throw it. So that's a huge loss. was well covered out there by Bundy, who's still walking with him right now just to say, I'm going to be in with you every <laughs> step of the way. You're done. You might as well sit down. <laughs> All right, approaching six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Third and 19. Well, he only lost four yards. This would be a, or I guess five, a or big eight. play right How about here. Eight, eight yards, yeah. Shut them down right here. They would have to punt the ball this deep in their end zone. Looking to he's throw. He's pursuit. He's throwing downfield. It's all about. Oh, 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 my. The man slipped. Bundy had it hit him in the hands. How do you not catch that? Oh, my. That would have been a. That's a man that's normally got sure hands. Oh, boy. I, I'm, I'm, he's probably surprised he had the opportunity to catch it. I'm sure he's going to. Lose sleep over that one. So Unity's going to have to punt this ball. Big time. Fourth and 20 or whatever it is in their pinned down in their own end zone. That means Stages are going to get the ball back with good field position. They're bringing two men back this time. Bundy and uh, Nathan Graham both have some wheels. Snap it over his head and tie up the ball game. <laughs> Almost over his head. Decent, Decent punt. kick, fielded Good. well. Nathan Graham showing his speed, cutting it up. Nice job, Nathan Graham gets down to the 26. That's a nice sophomore right there that's got one heck of a heart, a big attitude, and he's showing everybody that he's got some wheels. Good moves, too. He's making big men twice his size miss him. All right. Coaches are calling for the crowd to be calm because we can't hear crowd obliges they got to take a breath <laughs> you have uh, twins on the near side and Bundy and Welter you got Becker and Freeman split oh man split wide to the right he's got Becker wide open and oh, under throw just doesn't make the throw as he was wide open right across the middle he was frazzled a little bit maybe because the ball hit the turf and he had to locate his receiver quickly but still second and ten. Second and ten Boy, that would have been six, Doug. He was wide open. That play, that, eesh. okay. So you've got uh, Bundy and uh, Welter on the near side. Becker at a tight end on the left side for protection. He's going to go deep to Bundy. Once again, Bundy Touchdown. makes the catch. Touchdown. Touchdown. Once again, going right back at number eight. They have crisped this guy all game long. Somebody smelling smoke. Wow. Who the Sages sucker? go ahead, 52 to 48. Everybody settle down. They want to be able to hear. Quieting down the home crowd. Sages are going to go for two once again. Well, this would be helpful. It would give us a six-point spread, Doug. Got six seconds left in the play clock. Hand off. No, he's going to fake. He's going to throw to a... Uh, oh, uh, he was being held on to, uh, but it was way outside as Burton was diving for the ball. Still, Sages take the lead for wow. the first time in the game. 52 points, Doug. Holy crow. 100 points scored in the ball game with five and a half minutes to go. Incredible. How about that for high school football? Sages so haven't had the lead since it was eight to seven. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? That's true. I said just a minute ago that's the first time we oh. had the lead, but it's been so long I almost <laughs> forgot. Yeah, yeah we've, we've had about 90 points in between then. <laughs> Holy cow. Doug, I, I, I got to be honest, and I give this team a lot of props. 
I wouldn't have first off figured it'd be 42 to, or 52 to 48 at this stage, but uh, the way we played last week and the play like we're playing now, it's like it's like it's a totally different team. Well, this is a team that's got some talent. That's without a doubt. They showed it in the offseason with the seven on seven, you know, the skill positions, but that doesn't measure the heart. And the heart of this team has definitely showed up here as they were down 18 points and have climbed back into it to hold a four-point lead with 535 left in the ball game. Ball kicked hard along the ground, picked up at the 30, 25 rather. He's got everybody some keep their lane, make the tackle. All right, he gets it out to the 45. But right now, the Sages are more worried about stopping them. they got to keep them out of the end zone, get the ball back, and see if they can run out the clock. Of course, the score would be nice, too. <laughs> never never turn that one down. You know, I'm, I'm hearkening back to the halftime when, you know, uh, the Unity Rockets knew they needed to run down the clock and, and score at the last minute. When I'm looking at five minutes, they're going to want to have a sustained drive right here right. to do the same thing, to try to keep us... Because they the have not been able to stop us in the second half, really, right. uh, from being able to score at will. All right, good job getting the, getting back in the lead. Quarterback's going to keep the ball. He's got a little Stay bit of Stay at home, room. guys. And there he goes. And uh, that's, that's what we were talking about. So a short-lived lead as they uh, make it 54-52. Got sucked in on that play once again. When he made that cutback, there was no one there to keep him in contain. Nope. No, nope, and that's, uh, that's the only thing I like about this, Kyle, is now they leave the the, the same situation for us. Right. Now you know we can get this ball back. We've shown how we've been able to march the field. If we can take the uh, position game and march down the field slowly and be the last one to score, that would be nice. <clears throat> All righty. So with five nineteen to go. <laughs> Somebody uh, get the defibrillators. <laughs> that that Heart quarterback check time right now. <laughs> that quarterback is uh, is Man Mountain Dean over there. He's a, he's a player of the game for them. I'm giving it to Noah Freeman right now for us because he's had three outstanding catches for uh, touchdowns, long ones. Incredible. Five minutes to go. It's uh, 9:40 real time. Most games are getting over by now, and we <laughs> we still got this one in relative doubt, Doug. Wouldn't you say? I would definitely say that's true. And what I'm watching back there now is Nathan Graham and mm -hmm. and uh, well, like you said, Isaiah Doug, Flores. Yeah, like like you said, we now have the ball and and really control our own destiny. Uh, I could see us eating up most of that five minutes or a lot of that five minutes, or I could even see us eating up one minute and scoring. So you know. Uh, yeah, there, this is it. Exactly. When you're looking at five minutes in this game, there could be multiple Jeez. scores yet. Oh, you yeah. just hey. don't know. You've got 107 points on the board and, and potential for 20 more. What a shootout. What a heart job by the Sages to not give up by 18 points when you were having difficulty stopping them and then taking care of business. It shows how important turnovers are. That one's in the end zone. All righty. So they're not going to mess around with the uh, – <laughs> with the run back. Uh, and honestly, our, our kickoff, it wouldn't matter where they put it, that quarterback would have run for another half a mile. We just uh, He's just had that big a hole. I'm not sure if he got touched much coming out of the backfield. And well, That play's been there for him a lot tonight. Maybe this is the challenge we need, you know. We, mm -hmm. So far, we've been able to rise to the challenge and march the field. Once again, Wildman's uh, getting the troops ready out there as uh, we're preparing for that big drive that will take the lead back for us. We can't have that mistake. Right. You know, we talked about that before. That's what has hurt us in, in other drives. Uh, we need a big play now. Freeman and Bundy on the near side. He looks for Freeman underneath. He's, he's going to look for Bundy. Catches it. Burton. It, Burton's Burton got the rather. wheels covered up from behind. All right. Nice job, Jacob Burton, to catch and, and loose. He's wearing 33. Bundy's 32. Hard to keep him apart. Good job, uh, <laughs> Jacob Bundy. Jacob Bundy. <laughs> Jacob Bundy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, forget it. Oh, man. All right. Burton it's hard to ball. get the tongue untied God. as we are too looking many, at. Too many Bs. A, a very exciting football uh, game. All righty. Clay Becker playing a whale of a game at tight end on the far side. You got two receivers in Welter and Freeman on the, on the far side as well. He's going to look for Baker. Underneath, he's got Becker or uh, Burton Bundy. 
<laughs> it's one of the bees that used Pumbled the out of bounds, good enough. He used the referee as a blocker on that play. <laughs> was able to get to the outside. Had the ball swatted at the last minute. They're but luckily it fumbled out of bounds. Yeah. They're part of the field. <laughs> and that's a big blocker, oh too. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> that's, a, that's a wall to use if you can. 4.47 to go. And I won't even say it. Sage is just, you know, I'll take the score. I don't care how much time is left on the clock. We're going to have three or four more scores the way this is going. All right, Wildman all by himself. He's going to get pushed a little bit. Rust, he's going to throw to over. Oh, tight coverage in there. Went right over the top of Noah Freeman's head into Bundy's hands. Tipped again and, and then the, down to the field. Number eight has wore out. His ankle is, is, is not going to make it. They're going to take an injury timeout, Doug. And, again, normally we would step away, but we don't have ability for that. Uh while we take a breath, uh, I was informed that we do have ability, Doug, to run the tenths of a second on the uh, game clock. Uh, we exercise that option not to use it, which in football uh, you don't really need tenths of a second. That's more of a basketball thing, so I, I probably shouldn't even brought it up to start with. So they're out there to take a look, and did you say it was number eight that was down? It was number eight. Yeah, he's, he's been uh, a, a favorite target with uh, Freeman a lot. So I don't know who they'd have to, to come in to replace him. They've left him in, even though he has certainly been the weak link that we've been exposing. Right. And I think we're just faster than their corners are in general, Doug. But that guy seems to have been on the receiving ends of three long touchdown passes. I'm not so sure that they're used to seeing the amount of weapons no. that we have out there in the receiving core. I'm sure that they have been looking at teams that they can match on the line of scrimmage with the run game. Mm -hmm. But when you see this kind of offense, this high-powered offense we're running this year, that's dangerous. That they just not sure what to do with that. Well, when I saw them beat, saw the score that they beat St. Teresa 50 to 13, you know, and then St. Teresa turns around and beats Moreau the next week. You got to wonder, and, and it's hard to compare week to week because your teams. Well, look at us. We're different this week than we were last week. So. I think you're right. They haven't seen this type of, of offense. They haven't seen a lot of things tonight. They certainly haven't seen a team score 52 points on them in a very long time. And we probably haven't seen 55 in a long time either. So did Channel 3 do a good job of picking the game of the week this week or what? Well, I think uh, everybody knew that this was going to be a, a <laughs> challenge as the two teams uh, have a long and, and – uh, Bitter. Volatile history. All right, he un uncorks it too low. It brings up third I'm not and so ten. sure that wasn't tipped at the line of scrimmage, Kyle. Might have been. He was throwing it low and trying to have it throw, put some heat on it. He was he was open. Yeah, just not enough uh, not enough time to throw or a guy in his face. So third and ten. Be nice to get the first down on this play again. I have confidence in Coach Wilther's play calling, but he's done an excellent job all night. You have Burton and Becker on the near side of the wing and the tight end as uh, Welter comes in motion. Hands off to Welter. He's going to throw it to wide open Freeman. Touchdown. Beautiful throw right there. The pitch man was able to come around the corner. Who was that that took the pitch? Uh, it was Welter that threw it. Welter that threw the ball. He's quarterback before. Yeah. He has that ability and threw a nice play. Nice pass right into the arms of a Freeman who's just tearing it up tonight. Four touchdowns. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Boy, it's uh, if you could just listen to the fans, the screaming oh, on both sides of the field. This is just uh, amazing. Need to take advantage of it here and get a... Score as he throws to uh, ah, skipped one into right. the outside. That's, right. That's a, a tough pass for him all year long is to make a quick throw to the outside like that. Accurate. Yeah. Well, we're <laughs> we're keeping uh, we're keeping at least the spread nice. The two points may not matter anyway. Who knows? Doesn't I'm matter. I'm gonna throw a wrinkle in here, Kyle. All right, throw. <laughs> We've well, seen that they have a kicking game. Mm -hmm. there's yep, a three, there you go. There's you're, a three you're absolutely point right. Difference. Oh, I didn't think about that. Thanks for reminding <laughs> they me. They drive down the field. We stud them down. <sighs> they bring a kicker on. We could have overtime. <laughs> That'd be tragic. That, that'd almost be unfair. We need to we need to just stop them inside <laughs> their territory and uh, run the game out with uh, with first downs. 
Wow, 58 to 55. I, I got to be honest with you. I've not seen a high school football game like this before. No, I've heard of I've heard of high scoring games like this. You know, I don't remember the exact scores, but I'm thinking, wow, how do how do you how do you score 55 points and lose? <laughs> Let's hope we find out. All right, a little bit of an onside kick takes a high bounce, picked up at the 30, and they just dive down. Wow, that's a that's interesting. That's a that well, that's a, probably a more of a lineman or a linebacker yeah. not used to running the ball and doesn't want to make the fumble. Well, and true, and, and you don't want to be that guy. So he just takes a knee. Takes a knee. And, and so far, you know what? Well, look at the last set of downs. They took him one play. It is, wasn't What's it again? What's the difference, yeah. Uh, gives, you, gives your quarterback more yards for stats. So uh, Four and a half to go, Doug. We're up by three, and you're right. They do have a kicking game, and that's, uh, like we said, if they get inside the 20 and get stalled, a field goal does tie it up. All right, crowd coming to life. Quarterback keeps the ball looking for some room. He throws it. And he'll be eaten up and uh, knocked down. Clock continues to run. Maybe a yard or two on the gain, not a lot. Quarterback looking to exploit what he can. If he can't run it, then he'll throw it. He's keep, uh, ma keep making us respect that outside anyway before yep. he takes off and runs again. Boy, a pick would really be nice here, Doug. Tip ball, get it up in the air. Any kind of turnover. Maybe to, uh, yeah, somebody needs to put a helmet on that ball. Quarterback with Quarterback the ball. Quarterback is with the Still ball. on his feet, and uh, he'll be. He might have gotten the first down. We'll yeah. see the, on the spot. Becker did a great job of getting in the backfield and, and hitting the tailback, but the quarterback kept it. Mm -hmm. All right, that is a good enough for a first down. <laughs> 350 and counting. Ball sits at the uh, Rocket 45. Trips on the near side, quarterback hands off. He keeps Nothing the ball rather. This time. No, he did uh, keep the ball, it. and he was tackled up nicely by the DN there, uh, Baker. Boy, faked me out on that one. I thought that they headed it off to the tailback up the middle, which they ate him alive. So I have to give him uh, about three yards, call it second and seven, as they are eating up some clock for the reasons that you'd mentioned earlier. Got two guys to the outside over Quarterback here. Quarterback keeps it. Here's that play, and he'll Nathan get the Grant first down. Nathan Grant come up and makes a, a nice tackle, but first down. First down. So it's coming down to this. The defense is going to have to just take it away or stop it. Uh, as you mentioned, the, I don't think anybody really wants overtime, but if it's, if it's that or losing, we'll take overtime. Oh, we need a fumble right here. Yes, we do. We need we need a big play uh, for for uh, Sages here. One more turnover would even it out and uh, seal a win. Quarterback keeps the ball. He's got some room, and he gets about seven yards. Call it second and three. As uh, their offense is finding their fourth gear and some grit, defense needs to put a stop to it. I'm Two seeing, and a half. Watching some of their linemen right now who are getting up, and they're really shaky. They're, yeah. they're, they're not able to st stop us. They played a whale of a game on both sides of the ball here, Doug. Clock continues to run. 2.30 to go in the game, and uh, Unity calls a timeout. <laughs> Gee whiz. I think they recognize that uh, they got some people over there that are out of steam and yeah. they're hurting a little bit here and there. And, they want to take a break to try to get the momentum uh, back again. It's time to look them in the eye and, and say how bad you want this, fellas. Defense as well. And that's what it comes down to is you know, if this defense can make the play, can stop them here. Get the ball I like back. To, I, I have to say that this game is going to be ours. Mm -hmm. They score here, and we got a big challenge. Well, and, and as you mentioned, they He's very aware of how fast we can score, and we saw that at the end of the first half. So he's going to milk this, and then, and then on top of that, you're right, the, uh, the, the field goal threat could, is very real. Although we have blocked one of his. And kids kick differently under extreme pressure. Well, Scott Hamilton's been in these situations before. He's coached uh, quite a few uh, years over there. Yes, sir. Second and about uh, four now as we get set. Two and a half to go in the game. Quarterback keeps the ball, and he'll be, I want to say, stopped with stopped. the yard game. Give him a couple of yards, call it third and two. Two and 20 and counting. 
I believe uh, Unity has at least one timeout, maybe two. And they have two. We have all three. So we've got third down and two. Like to see him stopped in the backfield, but who knows? There he comes again. And he's got a first down, and he's got a lot more. Oh, and he's to the outside, but tackled by the, Nathan Harmon. Nice job by the freshman. Gets it to the 27. Freshman linebacker who comes in and makes a good tackle when we needed it. Still, they were able to pick up the first. They're marching down the field and they're eating clock. Just under two minutes to go. I'm not sure. What, okay. We had to wait for a Unity player to leave the field. He took too long getting up. Don't look for him to do anything but, but run here, Doug. Run, run, run with that quarterback. Need a tackle for loss or a stop. I'm afraid if they get inside the 20, we'll see that leg if, if they can't go any further. Passing formation as he is. He does throw. He's got a man underneath. He's got a little bit of room. Nice, nice wrap up and put down. Oh, nice tackle out there. That is Bundy. Bundy. Nice job to pick him up and put him down. Clock continues to roll. Ball sits at the 15 or 25. Nice, yep. nice job to keep it from from turning big. Give him three Had yards. Had to beat a blocker to get there too. Right. Call. Give him three yards. Called second and seven as they split two receivers to the near side. They're going to run. Quarterback He's does already so. running almost before he gets the ball. Come Nathan, on, Nathan Graham. Oh, big job. tackle by Nathan Graham. Playing big in a size eight uniform. And Unity calls her second timeout with a minute five. I don't think they're comfortable with the ball here. The ball sits at the 21. He's got third and five. Big play for the Sages. Uh, if, if you kick it from there, Doug, you add seven to the spot. That makes it, puts it at the 38. Ten for the end zone is a 48-yard kick. That'd be, that'd be stretching it for most high school kickers. He's got to get the first down, the way I see it. Four down territory. Well, the way he's been kicking is the, the leg that he has, though, you, you have to wonder. Um, <laughs> yeah. They pick up another five yards here and are just short. I'd say they probably would run the ball. Yeah. Big play here. They're going to they're gonna go for it on fourth down regardless, but you can see them warming up on the sidelines. I just saw a ball get kicked into a net that they have there right behind the original line of scrimmage for the set of downs. I'll be willing to bet here you see the quarterback run the ball again. Or they try to draw off off sides. And he does. Quarterback does run it. He's got close to a first down. He'll, he'll have the first down. Saxton Van Dalsen came up to make the first hit. Clock stops. Looks like they might measure way on the other side of the field, and they are going to take a personal uh, for, for official timeout. I thought the spot was okay there, Doug. Quarterback's a good runner, good ball carrier. Oh, boy. A little pressure here in this game. Yeah, it'll be fourth and inches if he doesn't make it. Adds a little more What I wanted drama. to see is with that hit, even though he got to the first down markers, somebody to knock it loose. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, and it looks like he has a first down. Ball sits now at the 17-yard line, 54 seconds. Clock will pick up running as soon as they set the chains. Unity with uh, one or two timeouts, Doug. Uh, one left, us three. Would, all right, one left. So they would save that for a potential field goal. The the, the big key right here would be to get the turnover. Right. If you get End. the turnover right now, there's no way that they can stop it. We'd run out the clock. Quarterback keeps the ball, looking to run upfield. He'll be get four yards, still on his feet, however. Ran that, right through Becker's nice shot where he hit the yeah. legs. That just shows you what kind of power he has as a running back. A lot of tired guys on the field right now fighting for everything they got. 36 seconds. He might just be going for a field goal here, you know, setting them up. Got to keep him out. Put the pressure on that kicker. See what he's got in the tank. All right, hand off to the fullback. He's hit down. hard right there. Nice, nice job down. once again. Is that Becker? That that's, is Becker right. once that's, again knifing through. Now that's his last time out, Doug. 
Third and eight, third and seven. Last timeout, so he's out of timeouts, David? Yes, he is by my count. How do you stop the clock then if you run the ball That's just and it. don't make the first down? You're going to have to throw it out of bounds or something. All right, chess painters are getting asked to go down to the other end of the field. The student body is on the other end, so here they go. Football team urging them down to the other end to make some noise. Third and six, 17 seconds to go. Maybe, you know, you're right, Doug. If they don't, uh, if they don't get a first down to stop it, they're going to have to throw it, spike the ball, and then they'll try to kick the third it. Third down, if you don't make it here and then throw it, it's our ball. Well, there you go. So, yeah, that's an interesting call that he made there. Maybe they throw it right here then. They almost have to. I'd like to see a sack. They're going deep. They're going to go throw to 17. Bundy out there playing. No. No, it's out of bounds, but that stops the clock with 10 seconds. So they'll get the field goal unit on. He's out of bounds. Well, here we go. He's got to go for a field goal, and this could just tie the game. So if the Sages can block it or if he can miss it, and watch Coach Welter call a timeout. Ice him. I don't know if you want to ice him here or not. I do. Get your, get your, there we go, there we go. He's going to call a timeout, timeout, timeout. No referee was over there no. for him to talk to, so he had to run out onto the field. And right. he had to explain to him why he was out there. You're not listening. You can't hear me. Mm -hmm. I need a timeout. Well, and he's got, he wants to set up a block of some kind. You block this, and uh, I don't know the rules specifically, Doug, if, if it's blocked, if it's still a live ball. I don't know if it is. I don't believe so. I don't think so either. That's a lot of protection for the players. Uh, maybe that gets discussed. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I think you call a timeout just to let him think about it a little bit. Here's the crazy thing. I was talking about this exact situation not long ago, Kyle. You did. You were. <laughs> and that's what, that's what that extra point would have been nice. Of course, they would have been trying for it where they were. They knew they had the, the kicker in the pocket. So The worst that can happen here, though, right now, Kyle, is a tie. Right. Unless they take off trying to run it. And that looks good. No good. No good. No good. No good. No good. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Beautiful. It had the height. It had the distance. But he pulled it. Pulled it. We have nine seconds left on the clock. Sages have the ball. It looks like the Sages are going to beat Unity Rockets here on our home field on a Love crazy, it. crazy game of 58 to 55. All we have to do is kneel, take a and let the clock run. This is impressive, Doug. I am more than impressed with the way this team responded. This couldn't be perhaps one of the biggest games, you know, on this field in the last 10 years uh, outside of playoff football. We've had our chances with this team, Doug, and I remember Donnie, he was a sophomore, fumbling a half, a, half an inch before he got into the end zone, and this makes up for a lot of things. Uh Give the Sages a lot of credit for coming back. Give them a lot of credit for not giving up when they were down by 18 points. 18 Come on! Points get out, crowd! Quarter. This is the game of the year, let alone game of the week, Doug. And it's going to be a bitter pill to swallow for Unity, but God tell bless you what. them. We've had, we've had a lot to swallow on our end, and, and it doesn't taste very good, I'll tell you that much. Friday football fever should be this game nonstop. Forget all the other teams that have played tonight. Every one of these plays should have been a highlight. That is impressive. To succumb, to survive three turnovers, to survive a three-point deficit at half and two three-point deficits in the third quarter. Incredible. Just a gutty, incredible performance. Wow. Well, that makes a statement, Doug. That truly makes a statement. <laughs> I am so proud of these guys and this coaching staff. Incredible. It is the coaching staff, without a doubt, which has done an incredible job of teaching these kids to never give up, to stay tuned in to what you learned,
to make a difference out there on the football field for yourself and for your teammates. This and is why we play. Oh, incredible, incredible. Student Hard. body has charged the field. You just don't see that one very often either, that they let them all out that way. Incredible, Doug. I, I, I don't know what Uni's going to say to themselves because... They played a good football they game. A good, you, you scored 55 points and lost. So that makes the Sages 3-1. and one. More importantly, Doug, we're... Nice job, fellas. Nice, nice job, job, guys. Nice job. Makes the Sages 3-1. and one. More importantly, 1-0 one and oh in the conference, and we, we can't let up. Next week, we take our 1-0 and oh conference record against St. Joseph Ogden, who is also 1-0. Oh. Wow. Enjoy this one, I Sage think if fans. You're, if you're in St. Joe right now, you're just a little bit concerned. I think so. <laughs> well, and, and they're a good team, but I think tonight we said, well, you know what? So are we. We had our moment last week and screwed up. All right, let's call it uh, a game. This is uh, Kyle Ness signing off for Doug Coondy and David Wells, your cameraman. Again, the final, Sages 58, Rockets 55. Thanks for joining us. Ready to go, Sages.